Good morning team. Um, I woke up this morning and I had this idea and I thought let me come sit and nut it out quickly. So what we have is a curve represented by inside diameter which is fairly rudimentary by this point. Most of you will understand how we arrived there in Grasshopper. Uh, just to show you the definition. It's not an overly complex definition. It's fairly simple. All right. I'll copy it over to the team if anybody wants it. So what it does, you have an inside diameter that's variable. You have an offset from that inside diameter. I'll show you why you need that later, which is just going to increase that diameter. All right. So so far this is all looking reasonably simple, and then you have of course a, a pipe thickness, which I've set to a real number, so you have quite fine control over the pipe thickness that you've got. All right. So how is this useful? It's not useful now. All right. It becomes useful when you start adding more pipes. There's a second pipe. Let's add the offset and let's bring the pipe thickness down. And offset from the inside a little bit higher and bring the pipe thickness thinner. All right, so now we have two pipes offset from the inside. Now we have three pipes offset from the inside. How is this useful to anyone? Still not useful. Let's start twisting them. One 360 degree turn. All right. Two 360 degree turns. Now the other parts of the builder start making sense, right? Because now you can go right now. Oh, I like that amount of turns, but I want more pipes in there until you get the look that you want. So you can keep increasing and decreasing pipes until you go. That's what I want. I want more curves, and of course the builder will accept also an input curve and twist around any curve you want, going around a ring or whatever it is you like. Um, and we can of course take the number of pipes down and create some elemental geometry like this. You have a single curve, oops, that you do a telephone, you can do a telephone wire curve if you like, just from a single one. Let's go number of pipes two and see what that gives us. And you can play because it's parametric, you can just have a poke around and see what works for you. And if you want to just thicken that until it does touch, off you go. Bob's your auntie. Alright. So what it's useful for in terms of a plane circle, I'm not sure. But if you're wanting to put a mill grain or semi mill grain edge or twist around any given curve it can handle that this will also handle objects so it can take a pipe and curve it with a little bit of scripting I can take it I can make it take an object and do exactly the same thing with an object instead of a curve if there's any usage give me a shot I'll script it up for you guys okay oops I hit on zero cheers guys